Hey guys and welcome back to Bee's Kitchen. I hope everyone is doing well. Come along whilst I show you how to make this delicious oven baked fish wrapped in foil and the fish is smothered in bell pepper sauce. Stay with me and let's get started. For this recipe I am going to use the following ingredients. I have tilapia and I'll also be using red fish. They have been cleaned and gutted and cleaned with lemon water and salt. To make the bell pepper sauce I have red bell peppers, yellow bell peppers, I've got some scotch bonnet, garlic and some chopped onion. As always all ingredients including measurements will be in the description box below. Using kitchen towel I'm just going to dab the fish to ensure that any excess water which I may have from when I cleaned it is completely gone. I will also clean the plate and the reason why I do this is because once I add my seasonings, I want the seasonings to stay on the fish. Using a sharp knife, I am going to score the fish on both sides, ready for seasoning. Time to season the fish and I'm going to ensure that every part of the fish is covered in the seasonings. Also guys feel free to season your fish using your preferred seasonings of choice.
I'm just going to rub the seasonings in just to ensure that every part is well covered in the seasonings. I will set this aside and allow the fish to marinate for one hour. Whilst the fish is marinating, I'm going to blend together the ingredients which I'll be using to make the bell pepper sauce. So to my vegetable chopper, I have added the bell peppers, I'll add the scotch bonnet and also the garlic. And next, I'll blend this to a coarse consistency. You can also use a blender by using the pulse option or a food processor. I have finished blending my vegetables. I'm just going to show you the consistency I am looking for. So we're using a spoon. I'm just going to scoop some of the mixture out and you can see, as you can see, it's not too fine. This is exactly what I am looking for. In a pot, I'm going to add the blended mixture and next I will simmer this on medium heat until the water evaporates from the mixture. Every so often I will stir to minimize burning. As you can see the water has evaporated and now i'm just adding oil next i will add my chopped onions and i'll allow this to continue to simmer on medium heat for two minutes I'm now going to season the sauce with coriander, cumin, smoked paprika. I will also add some crayfish powder and guys, the crayfish powder just elevates this sauce to a whole new level. And then finally, I will add jumbo crayfish seasoning. I'll mix everything together and allow the sauce to simmer on low heat for five minutes until the oil settles on top and this will indicate that it is ready. And guys, the sauce is ready. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. And this sauce is just sweet. Sometimes I have it with some bangkun, fish, and or oh, sometimes with fried yam. Oh, so good. So before I add the sauce to the fish, I did allow the sauce to cool down. And now I'm just layering foil on my kitchen counter. And next I will place one of the tilapia on the foil and then i'll begin to coat the fish in the sauce I'm just going to coat the fish in the sauce and when you're doing this please ensure that the part that you have also scored is covered in the sauce and also the inside of the fish this is very 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 important and don't rush it take your time love your fish because once it's cooked you are going to enjoy it
and as you can see the fish is nicely coated in the sauce i'm just going to fold the foil over just to tightly wrap the fish in the foil and i did use two foil because once it goes in the oven i don't want any spillage so just ensure that you're using enough foil and also the heat from the oven will nicely cook the fish i will repeat until all my fish are nicely coated in the sauce and also foil, uh, covered in the foil ready for the oven And I have fully coated my fish in the sauce. So using my trays, I'm just going to place the fish in the trays ready for the oven. And I'll be baking the fish at 200 degrees for 30 minutes. Thirty minutes later i have taken the fish out of the oven and it smells so good it smells incredible you have to try this recipe i'm just going to open the foil so you can see how juicy this fish is looking now guys i don't even eat tilapia but just look at how good the tilapia looks oh my goodness my husband is certainly going to enjoy this i know now let me go and check on my fish Ooh, the red fish just look i am certainly going to enjoy this with some fried yam but the next time i make it i'm going to enjoy it with some banku. oh my gosh i am in heaven guys please try this recipe i'm telling you you are going to enjoy it and your friends and family are also going to enjoy it this as always thank you so much for joining me please don't forget to like this video share this video comment below subscribe to this channel if you have not done so and please click that notification bell which will notify you whenever i post delicious recipes like this enjoy and i'll see you next time bye